A victory against Bradford at Scotland today is much needed then, as Toby Malarkey replaces Owen Dodgson from last week's 1-1 draw against Mansfield. The Bantam, meanwhile, are chasing honours at the other end of the table and head to Lancashire on a 10-game unbeaten run. They're unchanged after beating Sutton 3-1. Rochdale looking to build out from the back early on. Giving the ball away there and there's a chance for Bradford to break forward and surely a foul over on the far side. Straightforward free kick. And they've been awarded. Rydow standing over it. Looks like Smallwood's there as well and it is whipped in with the right foot. And it's headed home as well. And we're just five minutes on the clock. Bradford have got a 1-0 lead, Sam Stubbs has got it. It's his first goal since a January move from Exeter. And it's broken the deadlock in emphatic fashion. A towering header. That is a great start. see some more as their team continue to attack it's a lovely move there an exchange and the ball comes into the middle shot is placed over the bar but he's got plenty of them this season 27 in all competitions sailing high and over the bar Here, nodding it forward. Halliday is there. Now Henderson can break. And Henderson's got players moving in front of him. And Henderson's continued his run and he rounds the keeper. Well, you just surely thought that the net was going to be bulging there. It usually is when Henderson's in that kind of position. He did so well to round the keeper, but the angle just going against him. And he couldn't force the shot goalwards. Could be a big moment. Rochdale still pressing. They have done well under Jimmy McNulty. Well, scoring goals as well. Ten of them in the last three home games. Which for a team who've been struggling to score is quite something. They need something here. And well, this could be a golden opportunity. And Lewis just made himself big. And prevented Nadeau from opening the scoring from a Rochdale point of view. Probably should have done more with it. The ball down the line is cut out. And Cook's not going to get on the end of that one. He might get on this one though. Landell gets there first. Rochdale just can't keep the ball in possession at the moment. And here's a chance for another shooting opportunity. Whipped in and off the bar. Terrific effort. Scott Banks saw the opportunity just aiming with that left foot he bent it around the defender it's a terrific effort McDonnell was beaten all ends up but the bar wasn't any one of us can feel low our thoughts can get us down we can also feel worried about family and friends. But you don't need to struggle on your own. A helping hand is at the end of the phone or keyboard every day of the year. Call Guideline on their free phone number today. 08001 884 884 or go online to use the live chat www.mindinbradford.org.uk Guideline is brought to you by Mind in Bradford, your local mental health charity. Believe it or not, Mark Hughes has never won a promotion in his managerial career. He's certainly looking to change that 
this season with Bradford and they're in a great position at the moment. He's urging his players to just embrace the exciting moments that lie ahead of them. They'll be looking to double their lead here. Here's Cook. Deflected away. The corner off Malarkey. Up on towards the back post and it's an unmarked header and Henderson clears it off the line. I think it might have been Cook there. You would have just thought that he could have squeezed it in. But Henderson had other ideas. He's completely unmarked. You have to question where the defenders are. Thankfully for Rochdale, there was one on the line. We do have a pretty dismal home record, Rochdale, this season. The worst, in fact, in League Two. Just four wins, 12 defeats as well. Really points to where their problems lie in terms of their position in the table. Lewis launches it forward. Rochdale winning the turnover. They've lost it again now, though. Right now, he's trying to step in field, and he's brought down by Malarkey. It's going to be another free kick. Rydalge and Smallwood over it once more. Rydalge feigns, Smallwood whips it in, it's another dangerous ball, and there's the second. I think it might have come off a Rochdale head last by the looks of it. It's a wicked delivery, almost the same routine as the opener when they feigned the left-footed delivery but favoured the right, sent in towards that back post. Looks like it's come off Ebanks Landel last. He's unlucky to score an own goal. Bradford, a good value for their 2 0 lead. Can Rochdale salvage anything from this? Kelly in field to ball. They've lost it again, though. And Bradford are once more surging forward. What can they do with it here? It's Nevers. Rydalge. Back to Smallwood. And the sting maybe has gone out of the counter, but Ridehouse will feel he can bend another dangerous cross in towards Cook. Falls at the back post, and that's taken the deflection. And there's the third. Well, Rochdale might feel themselves unlucky, but Scott Banks has somehow squeezed that one home by a huge deflection. Bradford are now surely home with the three points in this one, a 3 0 lead. Keir Hunt gets a foot on it, and it takes the ball over O'Donnell, nothing he can do about it. And Bradford are going to be picking up three points. Rochdale, the troubles continue. Well, I wonder what optimism there will be left for Rochdale after this one. The news, of course of results elsewhere will worry them if this one stays the same because their gap to safety could be increasing. Malarkey has it. And that shot takes a deflection and will go out for a corner. I'm not sure that Sinclair was particularly happy that he took the shot there. But it should have been passed instead. Kelly cleared near the penalty spot. Back in it goes. And this could be an opportunity to scramble home and it's hit the bar again. Well, that crossbar was rocking at the end of the first half. And now Devante Rodney has hit it as well. It would have only been a consolation goal. But he looked certain to squeeze it in from there. Only to hit the woodwork. Goes the full time whistle. Bradford's unbeaten run stretches to 11 games. They are really cementing their place in the playoff spots now, but for Rochdale, this is a real worry. Crawley have won elsewhere, and that means that they're now eight points from safety with just 12 to play for. Back in action on Tuesday against.